So the Zenfone Max Pro M1, we unboxed it, we did a gaming test and we probably did a speed test as well. I don't know if that video is out. But anyways, that was all the boring stuff which almost 99% of the tech channels do. Today is when the interesting stuff and the real life cycle of this particular device at smartphone tutorial starts. So the first step as of course for any device here, if you're going to unlock the bootloader, we will install a custom recovery that is Red Wolf TWRP and then we will go ahead and root this device and this is an unofficial unlock so that you can go ahead and relock the bootloader for warranty purposes. So yes, it's an exciting video and it should really really make your life much much easier if you're new in all these things and before we begin doing all these mumbo jumbo to the zen phone well why don't you go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is kalash let's begin Alright guys, so welcome to another video now. In today's video, we will take a look at how to install TWRP on this particular device that is the Zenfone Pro M1. Uh, now before we do this, I would request you guys to go ahead and back up all the information on this device because the internal storage will be wiped and it is always a good idea to make sure that your phone is charged. Now you see that I have the phone at 100%, so make sure you've taken care of those things. So first things first, you need to go ahead and download minimal ADB and fast boot here. So copy this link and maybe open your chrome and paste it and this is the page you'll reach so then click here to start download click on primary download and save it to a location of your choice all right now you will have a file like this minimal adb and fast boot so just double click on it keep clicking next 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 install it and uncheck this box and click finish now apart from that if we look at the computer you will need these four files now all of them are linked in the description one is a decrypt zip magisk 16.7 this is the twrp recovery and the unlock file now once you have these downloaded the first thing to do is double click on the unlock file and just go ahead and extract them to a location of your choice now this is the android asus usb drivers and this is the unlock folder which we will need now let's go ahead and prepare the phone now you will need a computer with all these files you need to have a usb cable and you need to have a zenfone max pro m1 of course now this is the unofficial method that we are going to try so that you know later while we restore the phone to complete stock we can go ahead and revert it to a locked state so that is the reason we are not going to unlock the bootloader the official way all right so power the device off all right and while the device is off you need to press and hold the power button and the volume up button so let's go ahead and do that now, as you can see here the phone is in fast boot mode so then you need to go ahead and connect your phone to the computer All right now you see that the phone is connected to the computer then go to device manager on your computer all right and you will see that it says android and the driver is not installed so click on update driver browse my computer for driver software now click on browse and go to the location where you extracted the files for me it would be under gadgets zenfone pro m1 root and usb driver and hit OK and then hit next. All right. So now you see that the driver is installed. All right. So once the drivers are installed, what we will do is we will go ahead and we will unlock the bootloader. So go to the unlock folder and then double click on this unlock.pat file. Now you will notice that your phone will reboot as soon as the unlock is complete. So let it complete the boot. It will wipe everything and it will take you back to the home screen. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it does say raising and now it is rebooting into the system. And this is the usual bootloader unlock message that I also get on my OnePlus 6. So it is maybe a Google thing now that if you are on the unlocked bootloader, you will get a similar warning on a lot of devices. 
wait for the phone to complete the boot and the next thing that we will do is we will go ahead and install TWRP recovery while the phone boots up what I would suggest you to do is go back to this folder and you see this particular recovery that is the Red Wolf unofficial TWRP right click on it all right so copy the recovery file and go to platform tools or minimal ADB and fastboot whatever folder you have it installed in and paste it there as you can see the phone says that it is being encrypted and now it is booting up so then we will put it into fastboot once again and then once we are booted up into TWRP we just need to install the decrypt zip and magisk and then we should be good to go all right, so now as you can see the phone is on the setup menu and everything has been erased so we will disconnect the phone and then we will power it off again okay now once the phone is powered off press and hold the power button and the volume up button so that we move to fast boot there we go we are in fast boot connect your phone to the computer again now while staying in the folder where you copied the recovery file this is where it is press and hold the shift key on your keyboard and right click and it will say open powershell window over here type in fast boot space devices and you will notice you will notice that the device is connected so then you need to type in fast boot flash recovery and then right click on the recovery name click on rename and control C that will copy the name of your recovery go back to PowerShell right click over here and type in dot IMG so fast boot flash recovery the recovery name dot IMG and hit enter now you can see that because the bootloader is unlocked it says it was successful so once again what you need to do here is now we will be booting in to recovery all right so next up we need to boot into recovery so press volume down and power together and keep it pressed all right now wait for the phone to boot up into recovery so now as you can see the phone is booting into Red Wolf TWRP and now remember if you've kept a password or pattern at this point it might ask you to enter that pattern so you can go ahead and enter that pattern and decrypt it if you've removed all the locks like I did before starting the entire process there you go so as you can see it is booted into TWRP it is asking me to decrypt so just press the back button and swipe to allow modifications and then wipe and let's go ahead and do a factory reset and then go to reboot recovery so the phone will basically boot into recovery and this time we will not have a encrypted data partition or encrypted internal storage so then what we need to do is we just need to go ahead and install the two zips and we can then boot into system okay now as you can see here the phone has booted into TWRP you can swipe to allow modifications and make sure the phone is connected to the computer because at this point you need to go to your root folder so for me that was gadgets then phone pro m1 and root and we need to copy these two files that is decrypt and magisk copy them and then paste them to your phone's internal memory okay now we have both the files copied so what we need to do is we need to go to install magisk first thing we will flash is magisk now at this point if you wish you can definitely go ahead and disconnect the phone from the computer because we don't need that anymore all right so once magisk is installed go to install and flash the decrypt zip and once both the files are flashed just go to reboot and system and wait for the phone to complete the first boot it may take about two to five minutes for that to happen but that's it guys if you've installed all these files successfully and you have a TWRP installed that means your phone is now rooted decrypted with a custom recovery that is TWRP and with an unlocked bootloader so it is very very easy to go ahead and you know unlock the bootloader and root the ASUS Zenfone Pro M1 and there should be a video coming up in a few days which will also tell you how to revert to complete stock 
and get this device back to its factory settings in case you want to take it to the service center for warranty. For now, this is Kalash signing off with smartphone tutorials. Until the next one, keep smiling, take care, goodbye.